Hi, this is Paul again. I've got another video to show you, and this I'm calling Quad Step Fellow Taxes 3D Order Lesson 1. In my last three or four videos, I showed a new discovery of mine, and I called it Quad Step Fellow Taxes. In front, I'm showing you a pine cone, and I'm showing 21 rings, which is a Fibonacci number, and I show 32 balls on each of these rings. Now the color sequence of these balls are staggered as I show in the video. Now I decided to call this system Quad Step 3D Philotaxis. Now four color balls can go around eight times around a 32 point ring. Okay, what happens when we use a 40 point ring? then it'll go around five times. Now this five times geometry is used for the pineapple. Now this I show there are 16 rings on a pineapple with 40 colored balls and they're arranged as I show. Now I only show three different colored balls on this but the cyan balls are missing. I didn't use them when I was working on the hexagons. Now you can see that the 3D geometry of the pineapple works out very nice. Okay, by using this 40 ball array, I showed that we could produce the geometry of a strawberry also. Now this uses a five-fold 40 ball arrangement similar to the pineapple, but the balls are offset just one ball this time. And this shows that a 40 ball five fold array will give us 200 seeds. So now I'll show you the proper color of the strawberry and show the 200 seeds and give it a spin around. Okay, now I've showed you three examples of what you can do with four step philotaxis. And what you're looking at is three dimensional reality. This is not just a two dimensional theory. Okay, I've done some more research on this and I've got something else to show you. We'll start with this size 6 dodeca. I'm calling it a dodeca and not a dodecahedron. Let's keep things simple. Now I'm just going to show the outline and show the vertical red-yellow vector. Our next step is to give it four rings around the vertices as I show. I showed in my earlier videos the top three vertices can be 369 and the next ring down a Yucatan ring is 147258. Okay, our next step is just look at them rings and form a hemicircle. Now we can give it four white spheres on the intersections between the four rings. Okay, now we are ready for an array. Now I decided to give this a six-fold array. So six times eight is 48. So look at the results. The three-dimensional vertices of the dodeca are all lining up to the little white balls of the quad-step philotaxis. I think this is an incredible find, but I guess any time I make a good find, I get a thumbs down. Okay, the next job is to put some colored balls. Now, there's many ways to do this, but I've decided to put them in the center like this to start. So now I need to give it 12 copies. Now, if you look at that pentagon in the front, the widest part is a cube, the edge of a cube. And the shorter part is equal to exactly golden ratio. But the number of balls are different to Fibonacci. Now this is because it's spherical. Now the front pentagon shows 11 balls. Now we show 16 balls in the bottom pentagon. So this is proof you need to work in three dimension to get a correct answer. Because some of these two dimensional theories can lead you right down the garden path. I like to work with geometry in 3D reality. I guess the scholars can have the two-dimensional theories. Anyways, let's move on a little bit. I like to show you this in the top view also. I think you can really see where this quad-step philotaxis lines up perfectly 
with the geometry of the dodeca. So now that I've showed you this, I think we'll move on a bit and look at the icosa. Okay, we'll go back to the front view of the dodeca again. Now in front you can see a size 6 dodeca and a size 6 icosa. And you can see that the icosa vertices are sticking out a little bit. These I call slimbo nipples and I explained them in my earlier videos. Okay, now I'll show you the spherical outline of the dodeca and the icosa. And now I'm showing you the radius of the dodeca and I also show you the radius of the icosa for you to compare. Actually, the scale is about double the real size of a 6 because I've been jumping between different softwares. If you check out my work for the pyramids, I go into this more deeply. Okay, now we'll hide the dodeca and just focus on the icosa. Okay, I'm showing a semicircle and I'm showing the vertices as little white balls on the intersection of the four rings. And I made this by doing the front view first and then give it a 90 degrees rotation. Okay, now we're ready to give it a polar array. And I'm going to go the same as the Dodeca with a 48 array. And as you can see, it looks like it's doing the job. Okay, we don't need the curves anymore, just the little white balls. And I'll give it a little tilt and then show the colored balls. And I'm going to show the curve in the front and the segment is ready for an array the same as a dodeca. So we can copy and rotate this four ball segment 12 times and that will give us a 48 ball array. Now notice that the red balls are lining up to the vertices of the icosa. This is better than the dodeca because the dodeca isn't so symmetrical. Another thing about this system is that I'm showing segments. These segments could be any number of segments by using this system. It depends on the angle between the segments that makes up the array, the polar array. There's another thing going for this system also. Because each segment is split up into four segments. They could be split up into eight segments or 16 or 32. It'll just keep doubling up. So it's basically common sense. Like an orange could be split into nine segments or 10 segments or 11 segments. It can be done so easily with this system. I've checked out some of the theories that some of the scholars put in for philotaxis. And it's so complex, you need to be a rocket scientist to understand any of it. But when I put these videos on YouTube, I get about 100 views. There seems to be a lot of opposition for three-dimensional order. Anyways, what can you do about it? I'm going to show this in the top view to finish off. Now, I think this little anim really shows the perfection of order based around the icosahedron. It beats me how the academics managed to sell the theory of chaos for the last 60 years. I guess these people must walk around a park in springtime with their eyes closed. So that's enough for today. For the few people that like my videos, thank you very much for watching.